Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are here with Pokemon Go. Now, as you can see, we have eggs ready to go. Literally been out in the car just for a smidgen, and they're hatching. So thank you very much for Chris for actually procuring these and grabbing them for me. Um, <clears throat> we had a massive, massive look around for different bits and bobs. I had a pretty good, successful time. Um, it's getting harder. I definitely think it's definitely getting... Um, harder to find all of the different uh, Pokemon which we're needing now. Um, you find a lot of repetitive ones which aren't bad because some of them they can evolve and obviously we haven't got the top um, evolve of them so that's really good. But most of them are Pidgeys, Weedles, everything like that. So anyway with that being said we have three 5k eggs here ready to go all in a row. Fingers crossed we get some good stuff from this. We might be able to pull some stuff in which we need and could actually help us evolve stuff today, which would be amazing if it does. So, without further ado, I'm going to scroll up. No, I'm not. I'm going to tap the egg by accident. Come on. Okay. It's okay. It's, 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 it's yeah, it's 86. That's, you know, rather good. Rather good. Oh, there's um, a, uh, what's it called? A Venonat ready to go. Okay, here we go. Second one up. Come on. One out of the three would be good to give us something good. Come on. A Cubone. Wow, that is really good. Oh my gosh. I haven't had one of these from a 5k. 17 candies up to 20 now. Very good Cubone as well. Extremely cool. That is really, really cool. Can we pull off maybe a second Cubone? Maybe a Sand Slash. Oh, Sand Shrew, I mean. Or a Ponyta. Something crazy. No, we get Staryu. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Staryu. Good job. Good job, Staryu. Not bad, though. You know, it's over halfway to getting another a new Starby. Uh, let's just grab this guy first. Look at that. 15,000. I should have shoved the lucky egg on, but hey-ho. I'm going to try for a spin ball. Wow, that was pathetic. Right, try again. Hey, okay. I don't know how that was a nice. It looked as if it touched the floor. Will he go in first time? Yes. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. I will definitely take that. Thank you very much, Venonat. 56. Not bad. We have Ghastly's, Nidorant's, Matchops. Some nice stuff there. Nice stuff indeed. So, first of all, let's go to our items. Let's shove a lucky egg on. We have half an hour. Fro no, hold on. Okay, wait a sec. We have half an hour from now. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's do this. Let's go through our Pokemon from top to bottom and check out what's going on. Abra, not a lot. Aerodactyl, as you can see, we got those two. Would our luck possibly happen again where we get that other Aerodactyl? That's CP89, first class. Uh, nothing much on Arcanine. Um, well, I say that. We got 41 candies, so that's not bad. We're getting up to a, a proper good Arcanine. A load of bee drills, bell sprouts, slowly but surely re re growing, re getting our candies to get another victory bell. Uh, Bulbasaur though, doing rather well with 37 candies. He's still being my person next to me, trying to get this guy leveled up into a Venusaur. That is what we want at the moment. Blastoise, not bad with the candies, 87. Very very happy with that indeed. Caterpies though, we've been doing rather good with these, so I'm going to be evolving a load of these. And we'll see how they turn out. It's a 248, I'm guessing maybe a 260, 270, something like that would be nice to see with this Caterpie. But you never know. You never know. Could be something insane, could be something pathetic. But there's the Metapod here. Obviously, you know we don't evolve it all the way up to a Butterfree, at least not yet. But we get a nice collection of Metapods. So first one up is 268. Mm, that's not bad. That is not bad indeed. I'll tick that. Okay, next one, evolve this guy. And if you don't already know, the reason I'm putting a lucky egg on is because it doubles your XP. The reason why I'm just evolving these is because they only take 12 candies. 12 candies is is actually very, very... Uh, well, it's very easy to get, I would say. Caterpies are kind of harder than Weedles, but you can get them, slowly but surely. But we're going to be able to get a few out of these Caterpies, and that'll give us a nice amount of uh, XP on our way to level 25, slowly but surely. But fingers crossed we might get very close. I'm, I'm feeling very close. We got about 60, I think it's 63,000. Now it's probably about 65,000 because of those eggs. But as we're doing these, these are going to give us more and more stuff. 
We're not too concerned on the CP level, we're literally here for XP. Um, and obviously some new evolves, they will be coming up, so don't worry about that. we got some new ones which are on their way. Thank, thank the five eggs though, just thank them so much because they have helped so much. Another metapod. Can we possibly squeeze another evolve out of a Caterpie? I think maybe. Oh yeah, might be able to actually. And if I delete one, we might even get two. So let's evolve the Caterpie. Oh no, we have to. We have to get rid of quite a few of them. So no, we won't be. We'll save them up for the next time we do some more of these. I think we got about five or six Caterpies, which isn't bad. I mean that's. I think that's what I had last time, so I'm happy with that. To be honest. Got a lovely metapod there. They look the same, but it's just a lovely metapod, you know. Um, 214, rather nice indeed. So, obviously, I told you about the Charmander luck. That was really, really cool, getting it in the egg. We got nine candies overall for that guy. Very nice indeed. Um, so, our Clefable luck. Look at this Clefairy Chris managed to score for me. This is an insane Clefairy. Look how close it is to getting to the bar. If this guy doesn't go over 15... 1500 I don't know what will um, now the top one at the moment is 1300 can we beat it with this one this is the one we're going to evolve today let's do it here we go can't believe I'm doing this but we're doing it 793 surely this has got to go over 1500 surely come on Clefable give me the good luck there's the Clefable 1,500. 1,500. That's all I would like to see. Give me the luck. Oh my god! 1,601. I will take it. Dazzling glitch. Okay. Very nice indeed. So we can't do another one of them. Um, our Cubone. Obviously we just got one from that X. So that's rather cool indeed. Dugongs and Seagongs. Seagongs? What's a Seagong? Uh, the Dugong and the Seal candies. They're slow but sure. Diglett, he's close. Let's just say he's close. Uh, Do Duo, he's over halfway. I haven't got many of him. Uh, I've got. You can see I've got some Dragonairs here, the Dratinis as well. But they're on 32 candies, so we could actually evolve my Dratini up into a Dragonair. But I'm not going to do that because we might be able to beat that one still yet. We've got a Drowsy here, so this is going to be evolved into a Hypno. Look how many candies we've got. We've been going nuts with this guy. We guess so. I guess so many around here. It's ridiculous. But we're going to evolve him. Straight off, this is the highest one. Hoping for, I don't know, maybe 1,400 would be nice. You know. Let's just see what it's got. Here's our Hypno. It's normally a pretty good evolve. Normally. Sometimes. Gimme. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thanks, Hypno. You're a real pal. So I'll probably do three of the Drowsy Evolves. And uh, then we'll move on. Because we've got a lot to go through. We're, we're only on the D the D, the, 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 uh, the D of the alphabet. So uh, we'll have to wait and see as to what is coming up. What? How is that one higher? Wasn't the other one only like 1,200? Or was I just seeing stuff? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do another Drowsy. Now, we could do four, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save it up for the next time, because we've had three, which is plenty of uh, Hypnos to be containing with at the moment. But as we're on the letter D, we'll uh, move off that, hopefully. I think we can get to maybe some Eevees, which hopefully our luck is on fire today. <laughs> get what I'm doing there. Okay, so not bad indeed. Actually, we can get rid of that one, can't we? Because we don't need a CP14. That would be pathetic. So our EV luck has been, I'd say, okay. Uh, we got a 625 here, which could result in a pretty cool one. Um, we can only evolve two, but we're close to a third. So let's evolve this guy. No, no rules, no names, no nothing. It's just luck. Now, hopefully, it's not going to be what I think it is, and being a Jolteon. I'd like to see a new Flareon. That is what I'd like to see. A Flareon would be lovely. But we get a Vaporeon. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't. I really wasn't expecting that. What you got? What? You are? Are you kidding? A thousand seven hundred forty. 
That hasn't beaten a Snorlax, no. But that is, that is, that's intense. Oh my gosh, wow, that's amazing. Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, wow. Oh, I was not expecting that. Please give me a new Flareon, though. We've had plenty of Jolteons. A nice Vaporeon then. We don't need another Vaporeon. Oh, it worked. Okay, the begging works sometimes. What are you going to give me? 1,400? Yes. Lovely, I'll take it. Ember and Flamethrower. Not a bad move set there. Very nice indeed. Very, very cool indeed. We'll, uh, we'll check out all of their different stats as we uh, once we finish. See who's top. Uh, Ekans is next, a brand new ev evolution now, uh, and almost actually quite close to a second already, which is rather cool. Thank you, 5k eggs. I think we've had maybe about four, five of this guy in eggs, which has just been insane. But this is my highest guy. It's 451. Now, honestly, I'd be hoping for something over a thousand. If it's not over a thousand, it's a bit of a pathetic evolution. But this is going to an Arbok, which we don't have. Plus, this is going to give us the extra XP, so... Uh, yeah, let's see what we've got coming up here. Up you go, Ekans. First evolution of this guy. Into the Arbok. There is Arbok. Looking amazing. Nice. Awesome. Another one added to the Pokedex. I'll take it. And CP? Okay. Okay. Get over a thousand now. Thank you. You silly Arbok. Right, good. I'm happy. It's over a thousand. Um, interesting to say the least. I was expecting something a little bit better from that, but at least we know now the evolution is a little bit meh. No, Electrobus, no, go away. Um, execute, not so much. We haven't had that much luck in eggs. Um, but some, uh, you see, it's, it's kind of weird because sometimes you sort of get a rush on the same egg over and over again, uh, or at least the same type of candy. So it is rather odd. Okay, guys, here is one that I am absolutely ecstatic for. We've had a Ghastly. We've had a Haunter. But oh, have we not had a Gengar? And we're going to do that right now. This has been rather hard to get to, but we're now getting to it. My highest Ghastly. I think it should beat my Haunter. If it doesn't, that's going to be a surprise. But this is the highest Ghastly I've found going into the Haunter stage. And then finally into hopefully what will maybe be a beastly Gengar. That's what I'm hoping for at least. 760. Is that the best one? Let's have a little look. Let's just scroll down. 760. Where's my hip? It's not a hypno. What's it called? Haunter. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Wow, I went right past it. Yeah, it is. So we can get rid of this guy because we don't need this one now. So we'll transfer this one. Yes, please. Gives us 101 candies. Oh, here we go, guys. Here comes the evolution of the century. 760. I don't know. 1,300. That's my that's my bet. Come on, please be a really good evolution. It's got to be. Haunted to a Gengar. Not done before on this channel. I'm ecstatic to see this. Chris, I know, is very ecstatic to see this. Come on, Gengar. Here he is. Look at this guy. Oh, wow. We finally have a Gengar. There he is. Gengar the man. Another space filled up. What's his CP going to be? Is it going to be amazing? Oh, okay. Um, That's not bad. It's not bad. So basically it's gone up by maybe about 400. And Shadow Ball. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Um, right, let's go back up. <laughs> so there's the Gengar right now. I'm yeah, that, that, that's good. That's good. Geodote's not doing that bad. He's got 80, so maybe next time. Because I do find a lot more of him now. I don't know why, but they seem to have increased. Um, so maybe next time we'll be able to do the full evolution up to a golem. Um, the bloom... Uh, the bloom, sorry. The oddish candies. Uh, slow but short, but they are getting there. Uh, we've got a load of gold bats there. So, yes. On to the goldines. So we have a 575 here for this goldine. Uh, I think I got this from an egg, but it's very, very close to being its ultimate sort of stage in a way. I don't know if that's the right wordings. But uh, yeah, let's see what it turns out to be as a Sea King. Hopefully it's something pretty awesome. Maybe a 1,000... 
1,300? That'd be nice to see. Because I think the highest is a 1,200 presently. What are we going to get? A 1,200. Okay. Hopefully that has beaten the one that is top at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, hello, Geodude. Evolve 200 Pokemon. I'll take it. I accidentally pushed that, but I'll take it. Where's our uh, XP? 17,000 extra. Not bad. Let's grab this Geodude quickly. See if I can get this one. Oh, 537. Is that... Nope. Miss. Okay. Ah! Yes, got a great shot. Lovely. One, two, three, done. Easy. Sorted. Another three in the bank. Plus, if I get rid of one, that's another four. So we'll go with that. Curveball there. Nice. 83. Let's grab the Weedle quickly. We know these are going to spawn. And you probably know they spawned before me because you can hear the noise. I can't. These guys do give me a bit of trouble. Sometimes they go straight in. Sometimes they take about 50 balls to get in. But this one, straight in. And he's quite he's sort of high for a Weedle. Sort of. There's a sneak peek at the candies. Anyway, let's get back on with it. Oh, there's our Arbok there. So he's gone up into the, the A's. So let's go... Where were we? We were No, we weren't on the Hitmonlee, a silly moose. Uh, Growlithe, I did show this off before, but we got 41 candies. We have two of them. <clears throat> got two Golducks. Grimers, they can go away. We need them in 5Ks, if I'm honest. I need a good 5K Grimer. Uh, this horse, you can go. I just caught this. But we haven't got enough to get up to a Seedra. Look at all these Hypnos. It's crazy how many Hypnos we got. Uh, four Jolteons, one Jigglypuff. Um... Not really going anywhere for another Wigglytuff just yet. A fantastic pull by Chris, though. He got me a 1,115 Jinx, which is practically as high as you can go. Look how many candies I've got, though. That is insane. Um, it can't exactly go anywhere. But I think there's, like, a mini form in Gen 2. So if I can, like, evolve that up, who knows what we might be able to get. Uh, I said about the Abra candies. I found one this morning. Went to get it. It ran straight away. Good job. Good job. Look at all the Kakunas. Loads of Kinglers here, but we can actually evolve this Krabby here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just checking to see. Yeah, that is the top one. So let's evolve this guy. We've literally just got enough candies, but we're going to just evolve him. See what he turns into. He probably won't even reach um, a thousand. This sort of evolution is kind of weak. <clears throat> But hey ho, we've got to we've got to see what it comes out as. It might it might do something spectacular and beat all of the others. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Yeah, 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 I thought so. Go away. Look at all those Kinglers though. Crazy. We've got coughing there. Very slow but sure to be honest. Uh, two licky tongues. Match shot. Not bad, 36. Very slow. Magikarp has been having a very very good time. 321. Um, so yeah, that's gone up quite nicely, and that's a very nice, uh, Magikarp as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Now, this is another one I'm looking forward to, Magnemite. Chris snatched this one up. Um, I said, oh, what's the CP? He said, oh, I think it's a 300. Looked at it, it was the highest, 550. And we have 65 candies as well. We had one in an egg, which gave us enough. Um, went to sort of like an electrical spawn area. Done. Sorted. So let's evolve it into a Magneton. Fingers crossed it at least goes over a 1,000. Um, I don't know whether it's going to pull an Arbok and be absolutely pathetic again. But, fingers crossed, this Magmite is going to be a friend and give us some good luck. There is the Magneton, one which we haven't got before, so I'm very happy about that. Here we go. Add it to the Pokédex. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Hey! Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Spark and Discharge. That is rather cool very nice animation as well that is rather cool <laughs> look at that 32 magnemite i think i caught that this morning actually so we can uh, get rid of that uh mankeys uh, we've got 15 so meh meowth it's very slow still haven't even got my second persian yet which i'm rather uh, annoyed at mr mimes there's six of them there here we go here comes the king and the queen now of course, we know about the king. We have a king, but we have 76 candies already to get another Nido King, which hopefully will beat that Nido King we've got. But, news just in, we have enough to get a Nido Queen. This is going to be amazing. Um, so, let's do it. Evolve. Yes, please. Let's go for it. Come on. 
We want this to be an absolute beast of a Nido Queen. It's got to at least beat the Nido King, surely. I mean, if this if this Nidorina, I think, becomes like a 900, we're looking at something amazing. Literally amazing. So let's do it. What have we got? A 924. That's exactly what we were looking for. Evolve. Yes, please. The first time we get a Nido Queen. Another one added to the Pokedex. Very good luck with this Pokedex at the moment. Very, very cool. Come on. The Nido Queen has got to be an absolute boss. There it is. First time I've seen one. That is amazing. It's amazing. Hello, Nido Queen. Get yourself added to the Pokedex. Do you fill in? No, you don't fill in all the blanks, but you start a nice space. Oh, get in there. That's what we're talking about. Bite and Earthquake. That's rather nice. That is rather cool indeed. Um, I'll take that. That is pretty awesome indeed. Look at that. They look so cool together. Nido King, Nido Queen. I'm happy with that indeed. Look at all these Nidorans we got though. That's crazy. I don't need that many. But that is pretty cool. Um, there's a Nidoran. <laughs> there, was, there was that one there. Just like, I've been waiting here for like five years and you still haven't picked me to evolve. That's basically what she's on about. Um, oh, she's doing rather well, so I want to get 125 before I even think about a vile plume. Um, Paris, I think we have enough. Yeah, we've literally just got enough for a, um, a Parasect. Don't know if this one's going to be an absolute beast. Probably not. Might come maybe second or third. I think we got two already. But we'll just have to wait and see. Up it goes. Ba-dum. There's another Parasect. Ideal for when trading comes in. Definitely a very good feature. Hopefully very soon. 1002. Not bad. Oh, it's second. Well, I did say second or third. Um, Ammonite. Don't even ask about that. <laughs> don't don't see any. Don't see any. Now, this is a rather good Pidgey, I think, personally. Look at the bar. Look at the CP. This could be an absolute killer of a Pidgeot. Um, and I'd even want to evolve it, but I'm not going to because we're going to... Look how many we've got. We've got 20, 240. Th I think my whole army of Pidgeys might get destroyed from that many candies. This is this is insane. That's an insane amount. But first one up. Let's see if this might push like a 900 to a 1,000 Pidgeot. I know that sounds crazy, but... Uh, I mean Pidgeotto. It sounds crazy, but it could work because the evolution is normally quite good. 800, okay, fair enough. Is that my highest? It should be. It is! It is my highest, wow! And that's going to be a massive jump up. If it doesn't beat the 1,200, I don't know what will. Um, <clears throat> so, 409, let's do it. Let's do another Evolve. No, we don't want to transfer. What am I doing? Evolve. Yes, please. Up he goes, up he goes, Mr. Pigeon. Up you go, Pigeon. Lovely. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Nice, that's a pretty cool one as well. Look at that, six, CP16 Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. Don't you just want to shoot yourself if you were that low compared to a 1,205? No, hold on, that's a Pidgeot. 800, I mean. Keep going. Every single one of these evolutions is a thousand XP. You think how useful a thousand XP is when you level up way, 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 way in time. A thousand XP. Ooh, you are like... Oh, boy. <laughs> so we're about three or four in, I think, now. And the XP... Is probably going to be unreal. We've already had 17,000. That was like halfway through. And we've still got tons to look at. We've got Rasters to do. Zubats. Um, which other one is normally a good one? Oh, Weedles as well. There's tons of Weedles as well to do. So that's going to be really, really cool. Tap that button. Next one. Evolve. We're on... Yeah, probably done about three or four. This is probably the fifth. But yeah, this is going good. This is definitely going good. It's uh, interesting as well when I'm in when I'm in work to see like how many people have sort of deviated now off the game because either they're they're too busy or they've not that they've collected them all, um, but just the fact that it is 
it I think when you when you get a majority of them like when you go over a hundred it becomes quite hard to find the ones that you want and I think you rely on the eggs much more to give you those things <clears throat> Which is what I'm sort of hoping for with like 10k's, but I haven't had any which I was really surprised at for the past like Well for however many days since the last video where we actually got the Snorlax I haven't had any and it's been really odd because there's been none coming out of Pokestops And I've been like hoping and praying that one would just pop out just one Even if it's a duplicate it's a 10k egg and it's a it's a opportunity to possibly get a Lapras if not a Kabuto or some more Omanyte um, candies. So yeah, it's rather odd. It is definitely rather odd indeed. But as we plough through these candies at a nice steady pace, we're all good. We are literally all good. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, there's, the, there are definitely... I, th I think you can definitely know what, what your area is like used to in terms of like what Pokemon spawn uh, there the most often. Um, I know that all the pathetic ones normally spawn, that's obvious, but I don't know, I, I do see a lot of Squirtles, I have to say, I haven't seen, I've seen one Charmander, but it never popped up, it was on my nearby, that was it. I have seen a few Bulbasaur's, and I've got a, f a few Bulbasaur's in the wild, obviously I had some from eggs as well. Um, Squirtles, like I said, they're pretty good. Next to water, I think, is the best place to go if you want some Squirtles or Dratinis. Because if someone puts a lure up, you're on. You just sit there and wait, and you literally wait. And if you want to even add some more additional points, I'd maybe put a, um, a lure on. No, is it a lure? No, it's not. It's an incense. That's what I meant. Put an incense on. So you've got both of them. So you're hopefully then dragging in stuff to the uh, the lure and then on the incense, which is rather good indeed. So many of these Pidgeys to do, it's crazy. That's sort of your best way to find the ones you want. Um, obviously, sometimes when you do put an incense on, you do get a load of rubbish. That is obvious. Um, I think I did get an Omanyte randomly from one. Um, I obviously got the Blastoise from one, which I found really odd. Uh... <clears throat> I'm still curious. I know they're regional, but I'm just wondering whether you can still get those regional ones in a 5k, like the Farfetch'd, the Taurus. The Taurus is in America. The Farfetch'd, I think, is in... It's not Europe. Europe is Mr. Mime. What's Australia? What's Australia? Australia's got one, and I don't know what it is. I can't remember. you got Farfetch'd, Taurus, Mr. Mime, and there's another one. I'm pretty sure that that's it. I've, uh, Taurus is definitely America. We've got Mr. Mime. Australia might have Farfetch'd. I don't know. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I am not too sure. Um, but w whichever it is, I, ju I, I hope that there is some sort of, like, uh, oh, I don't know, some sort of magical, magical time where they just sort of think, yeah, go on, let's put him in the 5Ks. Because when am I going to go to Australia? When when would... I mean, other, other than me sending my iPad to someone in Australia and just going, right, you, you've got it for like a week. Find something. Send it back. Done. Not that that will happen. But uh, it would probably be the best way of uh, definitely doing it. These stupid Pidgeys, they take forever. I, uh, honestly, if they've got one thing, if there's one thing I could recommend, it's a skip button. If you've done the evolution about 40 times, there's no point waiting. You're thinking, come on, come on, just skip, 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 skip. Like a, a quick evolve. <laughs> so we're, we're getting down to uh, the double digits now. Probably got maybe another four or five. Maybe. I might even pull off a uh, an evolution to see how, how our, our Pidgeot's going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the Pidgeot evolution. I know it's I know it's obviously going to be a, a, um, less XP, but I want to see how well it's going to be. So I've got one more evolution of the normal Pidgeys, and then we'll do the Pidgeot. Because I want to see how high this guy's going to go. Because that was an insane Pidgey. It really is. I mean, you can get a CP10 Pidgey, you know, and that's insane because they're rubbish. Um, 
yeah, we're, we're, let's uh, let's just let's have a laugh and see if it will be a thousand two hundred. I'm sure it will, but could it possibly get into our top nine or top twelve? So let's find him. He's number he's eight hundred in the there he is. So let's do it. Let's evolve him up to a Pidgeot. He's gonna be a thousand two hundred, which I think he's gonna do. Now doesn't a Pidgeot to a Pidgey? No, Pidgeot to a Pidgeot. No, Pidgeotto to a Pidge Pidgeot. Oh my gosh. Let's see. 1,400, that's my guess. Let's go with it. 1,400. If it's anything higher, that's insane. Oh, okay. Not bad. That is not bad, actually. Um, and you know what? Let's power him up as well. Just to boost him over that 400 mark. I will take it. That's a pretty good Pidgeot there. How high is that on his little scale? Look at that. That's actually quite close. So maybe you could push it to about 1,500. And that's my uh, cutoff point at the moment. That's rather good, though. Rather good indeed. But anyway, let's focus on Pikachu. We, we can't do him. Pinsir, we got two of these because we got them both in eggs. Uh, Poliwags, they're doing rather well, actually. I'm quite surprised on how many I've got. Um, I found a lot at one law. It was crazy how many you get. Um, and I just sort of, you know... Go around, grab them, and get on with it. Ponyta's on 34. Can't wait to evolve that one, because that's, that's hopefully going to be a very good one as well. Psyduck here, sat here waiting with the 61 candies. We're going to evolve him up into... No, we're not. Okay, so we are here then with the Psyduck, about to evolve him. Um, I've put the, uh, the egg on, so we're back onto another half an hour's worth of stuff. Let's do it. Psyduck evolution, go into a Golduck. This hopefully will be one of the highest Golducks, I think. Uh, maybe 1,400, 500, something like that. Maybe. That's what I'm hoping for. It's a pretty good evolution normally. It's about two and a half, I think. Which is going to be insane. Go for it. Blow my mind. Oh, okay. That You know what? That's fine. And just because, why not? I'm going to power it up. <laughs> why not power it up? Just that little bit more. Um, so that's rather a good one, actually. That's over 1,400, so I'm rather happy with that. Look at all our raticates here. They're all waiting here, like, you know, help us. We're on the ratatas now, which is going to be awesome. We've got enough to do three. That's not bad. I'll take them. I will take those ratatas. And we shall destroy them. Well, we're not really going to. We're just going to evolve them. Could this possibly be a 900 one? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Push into the 1,000. Oh, that might have been... That might be the top one, actually. 926. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay, so we have a brand new Raticate on the tally leader sheet board thing. The bob. <laughs> okay, that made no sense. But hey-ho. Hey-ho. Come on, Ratata. You can do it. Here he is, the Raticate. Is it going to be? I think it's. I think that was the same CP. I'm pretty sure I got two that was the same. Same, uh, same CP. Eight nine one. Evidently not. Okay, one more, and then that is that. I won't delete any to make up the stuff, but it'll give us that extra sort of candy boost for next time we do a nice evolution chain. And there's another Raticate. There he is. Thank you very much. That'd be good. Probably about an 800. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Rhyhorn. I did find one, but he's on 29, so that's meh. Sandshrew, you've seen my luck. We're up to 36. That's rather cool. Um, Scythers, no new ones. There is our Sea King, our new highest one. Sheld, we got 37, so not quite there yet. Slowpoke, I think I found two, but we're on 40, so that's quite close. Maybe one from an egg, and that's all we need. Spearows, very close to actually getting um, two new Spearows, which is rather odd, because Spearows are normally quite rare for me. But we're going to evolve our highest one. It's quite high on his little chain. He's 4, 416. So hopefully maybe this will go over 1,000, because I don't know if I've already got 1,000 one. I might push it over myself. But let's see. Let's see what we get. There's the Fero from the Spearow. Because he's a hero, we're going to power up EO. <laughs> 1,000 
and 96. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's just let's just delete that one as well because that one's pathetic. We don't want that one. Now let me just show you my squirtles. Right, this is this is the squirtle here. Now. Um, I talked a little bit about IVs, and I thought, you know what, let's see what IV this guy is going to be. Now, you can see all his stats there. By all means, do it yourself, and let me know if I got this wrong, because I, I think I might have. But, I inputted everything. Now, bearing in mind, I haven't powered it up. It shows all the stats you need here. This Squirtle is apparently a 100. No joke, it said 100. I don't know whether I got that wrong. Please let me know if you want to have a little look through this guy and check him out to see if I'm actually going completely nuts. But I honestly think this guy is 100. We need basically about, I think it's about 38. Yeah, it's about 38 candies. Now at the moment, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. I've got 19 spare ones, which I could discard, but I'm not going to just yet. Because I want to discard them all at the same time. I don't know, I had these two. Uh, we got one from an egg, didn't we? So that's that one, and then we'll get rid of this one. Um, but that's not bad, you know. We're, we're definitely getting close to a Blastoise. Who knows, next time, I think I might, might only need maybe another five Squirtles, which I know sounds a bit over the top and too many, but look how many we got here. And then discarding all of these will give us the remaining candies, which is going to be insane. No new Tangler, but we do have a brand new Tentacle. Which we are going to do. This one hopefully will be a pretty beastly tentacruel. Uh, tent yeah, tentacruel. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Here we go. Up he goes. See you later, buddy. Have a nice trip. Give us something good. There it is. The tentacruel. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. 1,407. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beats that one perfectly. Um, look at this. We have five Vaporeons now, but look at this one. 1,745. That is insane. Okay, so we have Venomoths, Venonats, everything like that. We can actually evolve this one, so that's what we're going to do now. This is the highest one. Let's go ahead and do this one straight away. See how high we can get the, uh, the old CP on this guy. Why do I always find a Venonat? Like, really cute. I don't know why, but it's like a little itsy bitsy thing. That's what it's supposed to be, because a gnat then turns into a moth, which is this big, massive thing, which you can see right in front of you. This. Ah, okay, he's a 1006. Really? Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, we can get rid of this one as well, because that one's a little bit of a pathetic CP. Our two victory bells are still there. Our war turtle is sat here. I've got, I've got to remember, I still got this guy, which I can discard as well, so I've got to remember that one. Uh, so, we have a Weedles. Let's go through these then. Evolve. Let's go. So, we've probably got maybe about... I think it's about 12. Because normally 12 times 12 is about 144, I think. Don't quote me on it. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It is? It is. I can do maths, me. Yeah. <clears throat> so, there's a first Kakuna. I thought he was just stuck there then. 275, that's not bad. Let's evolve the next one up. I don't know what's with Weedles. Sometimes that you throw a ball and they will go in straight away. And sometimes, I'm not being funny, they will take eight balls to get in. And that's not because your aim is off. You can get them all head on, nice, great, even excellent. And they'll still come out for some reason. And then I sort of think, well, maybe that, that means that they're, they're IV or something. They're really good, or they're really good in battle, and that's why they're coming out. Um, I don't know. I really just don't know what's going on with them. But they're, they're odd. They are definitely an odd species. An odd Pokemon. There's another Kakuna. <laughs> I, I love the animation. It's just so pathetic. Ugh, just shakes. Just put him next to a nice little warm... Um, What's it called? Radiator. Uh, I'm sat right next to one. How do, I, how do I forget the word radiator? Get with it. Get with it now. Come on, cocooners. Let's go. Let's have that skip button implemented ASAP. Come on. <laughs> I just want to know how high a drill 
will go now. I don't want to evolve one because I want to try and get the most out of it. But I'm just wondering how high a beedrill can actually get. Because you can find them in real life. Not real life, I mean. In uh, in the wild. <laughs> and they can be rather pathetic. Like 200. And you think, what are you? What? Who, who do you think you are? <clears throat> I just wish the the evolution sort of thing for a Weedle to Kakuna was just a little bit more. Just a smidgen more, you know. Just a little, little bit more. That's all I ask. All I ask. But we got so many Kakunas, to, like, you know, trading-wise. You know, if you if you came up to me and said, give me 20 Kakunas, I'd be like, yeah, there you go, deal done. What are you going to give me? I'll give you 20 cash, please. No. Not having that. No thanks. <clears throat> I just sort of wonder, like, if someone was to come up to you and they were like a level, I don't know, say between their le between level one and five, and they said, right, I'll trade you for like my starter. Say they wanted to give you the, um, their Charmander, and straight away I would probably say yes, what do you want, and they'd say that. Can you imagine, like, I'm a level f f one or five, and I've got like a level one thousand eight hundred. <laughs> Um, what's his name? Snorlax on my team. Not that I would give my Snorlax for a Charmander, you know, that'd be crazy. But, um, I'd like to see the trading of candies as well. I think that'd be rather cool to see if you can actually trade candies as well as Pokemon. Because that could be useful. Say you've had about 45 different evolutions of one thing and you're just sick and tired of it. It's like, no, you know, here, here have my candies. I don't want them. Just take them. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. No, no, it's not going. It's just not happening. Take them with you. Take the candies. Yeah, just take my account as well with you. There you go. <laughs> it's just that sort of thing. Just that sort of thing. It's kind of odd because this battery is draining really quick. It started with fifty-one percent. I'm now down to twenty-seven percent. And I've barely been doing this for an hour, and it's already gone down by like twenty-five percent. That's insane. It's literally insane. I mean, it's not bang on 25%, but it's it's close enough. It'll do. It'll do. There's a Kakuna. Hello, Kakuna. How are you doing? Now, what I thought is I had to level up to a th um, 125,000. In fact, I have to level up to a thousand... Uh, no, 150,000. Which we're probably not going to do, but we're going to get close to. Trust me, we're going to get close to it. We're doing rather well at the moment in terms of uh, the old leveling up. I think I maybe, 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 maybe might have another two, maybe three. We'll have to have a look. Yeah, it's only two more, and then we can move on. And I think Zubat is our next uh, next thing. Done pretty well with Zubats. You'll see. You will see that. Because um, I, I think I remember saying to. Um, saying on the video that um, I couldn't find any Zubats and they just seem to sort of respawn more, which is odd. I don't know, you just sort of have that random sort of five seconds of uh, insanity. Whoa, calm down. Uh, gotta tell you this though, because it, it, it's annoying. Three days now in a row, including today, <clears throat> yesterday and the day before. No, hold on. Okay, not three in a row. Today, not yesterday. The day before and the day after that, or the day before that. So three days. Every single day, I've managed to see an Aerodactyl on my nearby list. It's taunting me. It really is taunting me. Do you know why it's taunting me? Because it gave me... Whoa! Don't go there. Um, it gave me a stupid 87 CP. And that is just not... That's just not right. Not right whatsoever. We've got so many Pokemon though, this is insane. Um, right, where are we now? Zubat Town, let's do it. So, we have a level 348, which is pretty cool. I'm going to do two Evolves. Why not? Let's do two Evolves. Let's do it. Go, Zubat, go. Go, 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 up you go. Onto a Golbat. Will it go over the thousand? I think it will. It normally does. If it's about 300, it normally does go over. What we got? Ooh. Ominous Wind. 1,066. Mm, that's not bad. That is not bad. Evolve. Yes, please. Go. 
I'll do the next one. Up he goes. See you later. See you later, little buddy. Hello, Golbat. <laughs> okay. Not bad. That is that. So, this. let's just have a little look at our um, Golbats quickly, just to see who is the top. Who is the top Golbat? Is it any of them? Probably. It might have been, unless I powered one up. Yeah, I probably powered one up, unless I got that in the, in the wild. I don't know. Maybe I did. Anyway, CP power. Let's do it. Let's see where we stand now in terms of... No, not eggs. In terms of... Oh! What? Snorlax, you have been beaten? Um... Well, that is shocking. This is shocking. Look at this. Two Vaporeons. <laughs> that is amazing. The Golduck is quite high. Polyrath has been knocked down. Pidgeot's up there. Tentacruel is there. Wow, this is insane. Look at all the Hypnos, though. So much yellow. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that Vaporeon. What are you doing? 1,074. Oh, so he's still got more HP. And look at look at the room though he's got to grow. Look at that. I could power him up. I could, but I won't. But look at this. I mean, we're we're at about one seven one seven. What is it? One, what would it be? One seventy five? No, one thousand seven hundred fifty. That's our uh, sort of one and three quarters towards. Uh, the old milestone of 2000. Yet to have one of them. But I think there is one in particular. Who was it that I was thinking? Oh, um, Dragonite. Dragonite should be a 2000. If I evolve that Dratini, it should go to a 2000. So that will be the first one. Maybe some of the starters. Who knows? And with our luck, we're gonna put, We're hopefully going to pull some amazing, amazing stuff. But anyway, let's have a look at this. Oh, another 2000. Wow. That is really cool because when we started this, it was on 6,300. No, it was on 63,000. Look at where it is now. It's gone up by about 60,000. Let's just say that. That's rather cool. So we've got basically 20,000 left in order to uh, level up. Which isn't, like, major. Oh, what the heck? We got another. What? Wow, we have another. Three five k eggs, flipping egg. That's crazy. That is crazy indeed. But oh boy, oh boy, have we had some luck today. That has been amazing. I can't believe that Snorlax has now been beaten by a Vaporeon. Two Vaporeons, the Needle Queen's up there. That's good. The Clefable's there. The Flareon is there. Insane. Absolutely insane. And as we keep leveling up, these levels, until I think it's 30, I think that's when it maxes out. That is when they sort of cut off and then you sort of just keep going. Just keep going and going and going. But yes, there we go, guys. So if you have enjoyed this absolutely amazing extravaganza of a leveling up session, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. You can also comment down below which is your which is your highest. and Well, what's your highest and what actually is the name of the Pokemon the number, the name, everything like that. The move set. Is it the best move set? Let me know. Um, and obviously rate the video so I know you're enjoying the Pokemon Go series. There will be, I'd say, a bit of a delay for the next episode. Um, not only the fact that I need to go out now and hunt for a load more Pokemon, but the fact that there's a brand new series starting on Friday uh, in, the, in the forms of Skylanders Imaginators. So I'll be concentrating a lot on that. So I don't know whether there'll be another episode until maybe November. I know that sounds a bit a bit of a far off, but you think this has been maybe about two weeks? What will a month hold for us? A month of Pokemon hunting. It would be crazy. It would be literally crazy. So guys, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to carry on with this no matter what. Spare time is literally on this. So that is that is brilliant. So, yeah, spare time is definitely on this now. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It really is going to be a crazy the next uh, month. But uh, guys, keep me updated on your Pokemon progress. Um, I'm always 
open to hear about what people have got up to and what is their highest and everything like that. So make sure to let me know. And I'll see you guys soon for more Pokemon Go videos. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Thank you. And goodbye.